Hello friends, this will be my recap of the first season of Raising Dion. Alright, let's go! The story begins with Mark Warren, who goes to Iceland to research an aurora with his best friend and co-worker Pat Rollins. And of course, everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. You see, what had happened was, while in Iceland witnessing the event, an anomaly occurred that gave both Pat and Mark powers, along with everybody else witnessing the event. A few years later, after Nicole and her husband Mark had Dion, Mark discovers that he has superpowers and decides to track down the people from Iceland, and that leads him directly to Charlotte Tuck in New Orleans. But sadly for Mark, Charlotte was the last person to see him alive, because he's swiftly killed by the Crooked Man, who is basically a man made out of lightning. This devastates Nicole, who didn't even know that Mark had powers. And to make matters worse for her, she finds out that Dion has powers that he can barely control. She then tries to tell her sister Kat, but she didn't believe her. But on the other hand, Pat Rollins finds out that Dion has powers and helps to take care of him. But that quickly puts them on the radar of Viona, which is basically a company that researches storms and anomalies, and is also the company that Mark worked for and Pat is currently working for. While at Biona, both Dion and Pat find out that Suzanne, who is the boss of Pat, has been researching animals who were hit by the anomaly in Iceland. Dion then uses his power to heal a fox as well as steal a hermit crab by the name of Pinchy. I understood that reference. And that's where Dion messed up for two reasons. The first being that Biona hunts him down and captures him. And only thanks to Nicole and Kat losing her job was Nicole able to negotiate with Suzanne. The negotiation was pretty good because Suzanne then agrees to help Nicole whenever she needs. In return, Nicole gives up all of Mark's data, which is research about his own DNA and superpowers. And because of that incident, Nicole decides to beef up Dion's security. So instead of Pat watching Dion, Charlotte Tuck, who can go invisible, watches Dion 24-7. And here comes the second reason. Pat falls for Nicole, but Nicole rejects him, and he also finds out that Dion can heal. This was important because as it turns out, Pat is actually the crooked man, and he wants Dion to heal him just like he did the fox because his powers puts him in constant pain and are killing him and the weird thing is when he becomes the man in the storm he doesn't see people all he sees is his next meal and when he had killed mark back in new orleans he meant to kill charlotte and didn't even know that mark was there until after he had killed him that being said everybody he kills essentially becomes a ghost that follows him around and he hunts down superpowered people because it helps him stay alive. Anyways, when Charlotte finds out that Pat is the crooked man, he quickly puts her on a shirt and goes after Dion. But with the help of Dion's best friend Esperanza and new friend Jonathan, Nicole and Dion were able to stop Pat. That's when the ghost of Mark comes out and tells both Nicole and Dion that you can destroy energy and Pat will be back in another form. And Dion realizes that means that his father can also be brought back. And the season ends with a boy by the name of Brayden Mills, who not only has powers, but his father was killed by the crooked man. And on top of that, he is now being possessed by the crooked man. And yeah. That's it. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like that video and want to see more like it, leave a like and subscribe. Adios.